Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dika. This is my neck of the woods. I share my experience, my knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve along the way. So today I'm going to talk about uh, deer and whether or not we should feed them. And more importantly, whether or not we should feed them during the winter. You know, there's this huge controversy about, you know, you can't feed deer in the winter, especially corn, because it will kill them. Now, that's partially the case. Uh, it, it, it's not the case um, overall. Um, what the problem is, is when deer are in the winter, when, they, when they're feeding, they are sort of um, designed to take in less nutrients. And they are, they'll do like, um, normally they have all types of uh, high fiber, and for, they forage, and they have roughage, and they eat, they eat grains too and whatnot. But what happens is they're used to this sort of winter woody browse because everything is, uh, especially in, in Massachusetts, in this area, where everything is stripped. So the, a, a lot of the, um, the leaves are gone. Um, some of the birch do hold onto their leaves and they'll eat that, but it's, it's still considered sort of a woody roughage. Now, a lot of people do feed their deer. You know, I have a food plot and I, I feed deer in the off season. And the problem is that they're, like I said, they're designed or they're preconditioned to have this sort of woody browse during the winter. And they eat much less in the winter. So when we put out bags and bags of corn, and we know corn is like high, it's grain, it's high carbs, and which in turn can be high sugar when it's digested. What they do is they get a grain overload. And it can be fatal to deer that, first of all, aren't used to eating corn. You know, there's no, no corn near them, so they're, they're not used to it. And they, um, or if it turns into everything that they eat, say for whatever reason that deer is starving in that area and you're feeding piles and piles of endless corn, that deer, that deer, that, that corn can be fatal to them. So what do we know about deer? We know that they are ruminant animals. If you don't know what that means, I'm going to give you a brief, uh, brief description on that. But I'm, I'm going to do an entire video on acidosis. That's the disease that deer get from eating too much corn. I'm going to do ruminant animals and acidosis and what it actually does and the symptoms and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to go over the biology of the rumen. Now, I'm, I'm not a um, fish and wildlife. I'm not a biologist, but I'm a nurse. And I have a extensive education on biology. And this particular piece of biology does apply to human beings as well as it does to ruminant animals. Now, ruminant animals meaning um, cows, deer, elk, sheep, I think yaks or another one. Um, they're all ruminant animals. And what that means is their stomach is based, it, it's broken down into four sections. And what the, the, the main section is called the rumen. And what it does is, so when a deer eats, say they're eating, um, say they're in the winter, right? And they're eating um, green briar, and they eat a ton of green briar, right? They're gonna chew that down, and mix that with saliva, and that's gonna go down into the rumen. It's gonna be on the bottom level of the rumen. Now they continue to eat. Now, if you, don't, if you know anything about deer, they feed anywhere from five to seven, day, five to seven times a day. So over the course of the day, they're going to feed multiple times and they're going to get different levels of rumen. So different levels of their brows are going to sit on the rumen. And then there's going to be other sections that aren't fully digested and their um, esophagus kind of goes two ways. Ours is supposed to go one way and our stomach is supposed to go one way, but their sections can go two ways, more their esophagus than their stomach. Uh, I can get into that in my other video, but so that what they do is they regurgitate back up some of the brows that isn't fully um, sort of um, macerated or digested properly, and it's called the cud. And that then they'll chew it up again, and then it'll go back down and sit in another layer of the rumen. So what happens when deer eat corn or a high grain, especially in the winter when the, um, the rumen is more just like woody brows. It, it's, it's not a mixture of things. What happens is the corn, it's high carbs, it digests 
super, super fast. And it turns, to, it turns to sugar and gas, so to speak. And what it does is it creates acidosis. What acidosis is, all it is is a, a higher pH, excuse me, yeah, high, a, high, uh, a, a higher, excuse me, a lower pH, excuse me, a low pH, like for a human acidosis, like respiratory acidosis, you need a pH of like 7.5 or lower. And for a deer, I'm not sure about elk, I, I think cattle are very similar to deer too. I think it's 5.5 or lower. So the lower the pH, the higher the acid, the higher the pH, the higher the alkaline. So a little bit of chemistry involved there. So when deer, when, when, uh, when deer have a high pH level, it's gonna cause all types of problems. And inside the rumen, it deteriorates the rumen. So our, our stomach, which is right here, our stomach is high acid because we have, we have stomach acid that helps with digestion. The majority of, of a deer's digestion is within the rumen and it's based on saliva and fermentation. And that's how they do their digestion. So if you create high acid in an environment that isn't designed, like our, our stomach lining is designed for high acid, it's going to start to eat it away and cause all types of problems, everything from ulcers inside the stomach to uh, it's going to cause a high acid in the bloodstream. It's going to cause liver problems and failure and ultimately death in these deer. And what happens with these deer, and it, it's mainly the deer that probably have never seen corn in their lives. And you're putting down piles and piles of corn and their sole nutrients for the year or for the, the winter is corn. They just keep coming back to this corn pile because it's, it's endless, you know? As opposed to the people that go in maybe once a week and put down some corn and they'll browse on it or there'll be a group of deer and they'll eat it till, till it's gone, but then they'll browse on other things throughout the week. Those are not usually the deer that are gonna die. The deer that are gonna die are the ones that are dependent on that corn and they come in and they eat it and their stomach, I don't wanna say their stomach explodes, but the amount of acid and the gas in there causes them a huge disruption and they usually die within 24 hours. So. I'm not saying it's bad to feed deer in the winter. You just have to, if you got to feed them, if you got to feed them, feed them the appropriate thing to what they're used to. You know, we all, as hunters, we all try to know our herd and the deer that we're hunting. So if you got to feed them, try to do that research first, you know, and then that will let you know what they can eat. But ultimately, I think corn or anything high grain feeding during the winter is, is certainly a no-no. You, sh you, sh you shouldn't be doing it during the winter. Um, I'm, now, I'm not saying that deer don't die from this grain overload other times of the year. They do, but it's mostly in the winter when they're sort of preconditioned to take in this woody browse, this high fiber stuff, and um, where they're picking off the buds of um, the buds of the fallen trees or the low hanging branches or whatever, whatever leftover acorn there might be, they'll be digging for it. Um, or, or even leaves, you know, leaves from the beech trees, um, they, they stay and they eat those too. So if you're gonna feed the deer, just try to make better choices. But overall, I don't think it's, it's wrong to be feeding deer. I mean, there's a lot of people that, there's a lot of um, states that hunt over bait. You know, it, it's legal to hunt over bait. The, you can do food plots here in Massachusetts, but you can't hunt over like piles of corn, which kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, a, a food plot is, I, I consider it bait, but um, so take with it, take from it what you can. But like I said, eating corn 100% of the time, those are the deer that are, are gonna do it. I, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably younger deer too. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, you know? But like I said, I'm a nurse. I have a strong biology background and um, anatomy and physiology and, and, and how the human body works. And I understand this acidosis and it's very similar in uh, ruminant animals. All right, that's all I have for you. I hope that helps you. I hope that helped educate you a little bit. Uh, like I said, if you're gonna feed your deer, just make better choices, you know, and uh, do a little, educate yourself, you know, because ultimately we want those deer there so we can 
harvest them and um, you know, eat them later, right? All right, be well, subscribe to my page, like my videos, make some comments. Until next time, this is Dika, My Neck of the Woods, signing off.